Hello, this is RS Bytes, and in this video, we are going to look at the topic of interfaith dialogue. Interfaith dialogue can be defined as engagement between those of different faiths and no faiths to bring about positive outcomes such as respect and tolerance. There might also be a wider purpose of tackling common issues like climate change. In the UK, people have the freedom of religion. All faiths should be respected in society. The Interfaith Network is an organisation that promotes understanding and cooperation between faiths. In Britain, we live in a multi-faith society. There are many religions found in the UK, from Christianity to Islam, Judaism to Hinduism, and also non-religions such as atheism and humanism. There are many positives of living in a multi-faith society, such as greater understanding and tolerance, being able to correct misconceptions and events that can unite communities. However, there can also be challenges, such as minority groups experiencing discrimination and also violence and terrorism can emerge from fear or misunderstandings. The Catholic Church aims to promote interfaith dialogue. Catholics believe we are all made imago dei and therefore everyone should be treated with dignity. For Catholics, interfaith dialogue is a way to love your neighbour. At the Second Vatican Council, the Church suggested that it should form better relationships with Jews and Muslims. Because of this, Catholics and others work together to find universal truths that are shared between religions. Finding similarities brings people together and helps to avoid conflicts. Although the Catholic Church argues that it holds the whole truth, it does believe that other religions do have some truth. This is an inclusivist view of religion. There are some other religions, including some groups of Christians, who say that their religion is the only true path in life. These people would be called exclusivists. Recently, Pope Francis and Pope Benedict XVI have spoken out about the importance of interfaith dialogue. In fact, Pope Francis has washed the feet of Muslims and atheists during his Monday Thursday celebrations. The group known as the Sisters of Our Lady of Zion work closely with Jewish people. Jews also see the importance of interfaith dialogue and will work with people from other religions, especially during Mitzvah Day. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe below.